Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can inject DS games into the Wii U's virtual console. First of all, I wanted to thank you guys for all the nice comments that you guys have been writing on my videos. I really enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments section, so again, if you guys ever have any questions or anything interesting to say, Feel free to leave a comment, I really enjoy responding to those. In order to get started, you're going to need some prerequisites. First things first, you're going to have to have custom firmware on your Wii U, as well as Web Installer GX2. The newest custom firmware on the Wii U is Tiramisu. I know in my previous videos I said Kobu Hakshi, Hakshi, and also Mocha, but now it's changed. Tiramisu is the newest thing that was released semi-recently. I think someone actually brought this to my attention in the comments so i installed it onto my wii u if it wasn't for that comment i would have found out much later that jeremy sue was released since i'm not always checking the homebrew discord and stuff like that so i apologize that that information is a little bit dated but wii u.guide is always good to make sure that you have the most relevant information you're also going to need Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. I made a video explaining this and I will make sure to link it in the description below. First things first, you're going to want to open up Ultimate Wii U Virtual Console Injector on your PC. After this screen pops up, you're going to want to select the DS page. Now it's going to ask you for a base. My recommended base for DS games is WarioWare Touched. It's going to ask you for the title key. Now if you don't have the title key, I highly recommend that you check out the website titlekeys.ovh that will have all of the information you will need in order to get the title key for this game. Once you have the correct title key, it will show you this pop up right here. After this, you're going to want to download the base. And now we can start with configuring the injection. So first things first, you're going to want to select your ROM for the game that you have. Now over here, it addresses a lot of information. I know some of you guys were asking me previously. You can only inject NDS ROMs that are not DSi enhanced. So Pokemon Black and White are not working. If you attempt to inject a DSi enhanced ROM, we will not give you any support with fixing said injection. So essentially when it comes to this, try it out, see what happens. You can always make a backup of your save using FTPU. It is a pretty involved process. I might make a video about that in the future though. Adding to this, since DSi enhanced games aren't supported, this emulator is not designed to handle DSiWare games. I've tried to do it before myself and I haven't gotten any real good results. Try it out, let me know what happens. I'm still kind of messing around with this injector. It's a really nice program and there's a lot of different things that you can do with it. So just keep that in mind. After you got your ROM path determined, you're going to want to create your icon and your TV image. So my personal preference for both of these is to use the title screen in order to fill the black box essentially. You can mess around with different styles, but this is the official one. I think this DS one is pretty cool. You can always just get rid of this overlay as well. So I have my image selected right here, so I'm just going to click finish. And then you can put on a TV image. Now this is where you start actually filling out the information for your game. So the game name is Kingdom Hearts Recoded. However, this doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this right here and just put it onto the second line. The release date for this game, release year, was 2011. Now, this game only supports one player, so I'm just going to leave this blank and I'm going to select the title screen again. One thing to note is that Wii U Virtual Console does not support multiplayer and it also doesn't support some functions. A cool easter egg about this game, and one reason that I actually chose this game, is you can use the Nintendo channel in order to actually generate avatars that you can use inside of the avatar menu in this game. So do keep that in mind. Again, you can move your save around, but it is pretty tedious, especially for the in injects. It's pretty tedious to move your save from let's say your wii u hard drive onto your 3ds which you're using a flash card on such as r for i it might be a little tedious it's not impossible but it is a little bit hard to do 
again, I might consider making a video on that in the future, so stay tuned. I have a bunch of video ideas, but again, it's a lot of work to sit down and just record and, you know, cut the video, respond to comments, do Twitch streams, interact with you guys on the Discord. There's a lot of stuff going on, so... And also there's IRL stuff, so that's always something to keep in mind. After you're done with this, you're going to want to click on finish. You can add a gamepad image, a logo, and a boot sound. I won't be showing how to do this since I like to have my Injex blend in with the others as much as possible. Now you're simply just going to want to enter the game name. And after that, you're going to want to click on the inject button. After you see that the inject is finished, you're going to want to pack this as a weapon installable. Now that you can see that the inject is complete, you can click on open folder. And you're going to want to make sure your SD card is inserted in your PC. And all you're going to want to do is copy this folder right here and paste it onto the install folder on your Wii U's SD card. After that, I will see you guys over on my Wii U. Once you are on your Wii U, you're going to want to launch Weapon Installer GX2 and make sure that your SD card is inserted in your Wii U and you're going to want to click on this, click on install, click yes, and then click on USB just in case the install is corrupted. You don't want to lose space forever on your NAND. Well, not really forever, but the process is kind of involved to erase ghost data from your NAND. All right, so now that the game has been successfully installed, you can back out to your Wii U venue, and you can simply just launch the game. As you can see, the banner and everything that we configured earlier works great. All right, it will show you the welcome screen. Of course, it gives you the information that not all features will work with the Wii U Virtual Console. And one thing to note is that the gamepad is your only controller that you can use with the DS game. You can't use the Wii U Pro Controller, even though it would have been really nice if you could have used the Wii U Pro Controller. I somewhat understand because some games require the mic and other games require the touch screen. So that's one of the reasons they probably left it as gamepad only support. Now you're going to see this horrendous DS layout. First thing I do whenever I boot up a fresh install of any DS game is go over to the screen settings. My personal favorite is the one with the upper screen focus since I'm pretty sure a lot of the action recoded is on the upper screen. And also you can press on the right control stick on your gamepad to turn on screen smoothing. It's not an insane difference, but it does slightly help with some logos and fonts that you guys just saw the screen got adjusted. You can you can kind of see that it, it smooths it out. It's not an HD fire in any sort of way, shape, or form, but it exists. But yeah, now you can play your game as you basically want to. Goodbye. Bye. When I wake up, I'll find you. And then there will be no lie. This game definitely has so kind of a special place, I guess. Because I remember playing this a lot on um completely legally on um our family computer. So yeah, you can play the game as intended, of course. Um it works pretty well, not gonna lie. For being Virtual Console, this is a pretty solid way of being able to play some of your favorite DS games. I hope this guide helped you guys. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Also, I was going through my YouTube analytics and only around like 98% or I'm sorry, apparently only 2% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe. More content coming in the future. I will try to be as consistent as I possibly can. As always, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions, and make sure to follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash datazemnus. I am extremely active. I stream on there at 7pm EST from Thursdays to Sundays, so make sure to check that out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, thank you for your continued support, and I will see you guys all later.